Hey everyone, Rogue Guild here, and today I want to highlight a lesser known feature within the game that can allow you to gain some extra stats and buff up various types of builds if you need to specialize in a particular direction. I've been aware of this option for quite a while, and I know at least some of the community is as well, but recently one of you guys actually reminded me that this was an option and would actually improve upon one of my builds over what I had been running, so I thought this would be the perfect opportunity for me to utilize this to buff my own build as well as show you guys to any of you who may have not known about it. Again, I'm sure some of you already do know of its existence existence, but for those of you who don't, I hope some of you enjoy and gain some benefit from this. Let's hop into it. Okay, so I want to thank Jose who commented on my recent Eclipse build video because he was the one that reminded me that this was a thing and made me realize that I could actually benefit from it on my own build. So what the hell am I talking about? Well, let's take a look at my build here. This is a makeshift build. I'm making this in prep for uh, TU 10.1 when the booster hive is going to give you hazard protection, so it's kind of a support and PvP build, but if you take a look at my gear here, do you see anything that's a little abnormal? Yeah, my holster there doesn't have a brand. That's because it's an improvised holster. And this is special for, well, two reasons. One, it obviously it doesn't have a brand, but two, it comes with a mod slot, which is pretty interesting when you think about the different possibilities that brings. Before I talk about those options, let's just take a look quick where you can get it. And it's right over here, actually at the crafting station, kind of hidden from sight. If you go down to the category second from the bottom here, you'll see the improvised holster. It comes with all those random bonuses and then a utility mod slot. Now, interesting thing here is because it's not a brand, the core attribute is not dictated. It can come with a skill tier, armor, or weapon damage, as well as the attributes, like everything else, is random, so it's a completely random piece with that yellow mod slot, so really interesting. And if you did, if you were to roll this and get, you know, the right rolls of core attribute and the two regular attributes that you wanted, you could then roll the mod slot to a different color, so you could get a red mod or a blue mod. They used to have one of these for the knee pads as well that came with a red mod slot, but with TU10, I believe, or maybe TU9, they got rid of the red mod in there, which is interesting because you can, obviously, like I said, still get on the yellow one, but something to note that they did take that off, but the yellow one and this holster does still exist, so you can still take benefit from that. There are also improvised chest pieces and backpacks in the crafting station, but because those branded pieces already come with mod slots, it's not really worth it to run that because you're just losing out on a talent then and the brand bonus that you could be getting with some other things, so just wanted to mention that. So why am I using this unbranded piece on my build? Well, let's take a look at what I was going to use originally, and that's a handy U piece. I now have it on the knee pads because I'm going for as much skill haste on this build as possible, but originally I had a holster here to get that one piece to get the skill haste, but what the improvised allows me to do is actually get more skill haste than I would from using one piece of Hanna Yu. And how that works out is that if I did have Hanna Yu, I would be getting 10% skill haste from the brand bonus and then 12% from the roll. But now with this, I can run one Hanna Yu on another slot to get the brand bonus, and then I can run this to get another double skill haste roll because there's no other brand that comes with skill haste. So for my particular use, this actually helps me out more than it would to run one Hanna Yu and then another random brand that didn't give me skill haste since skill haste is what I'm specking into. Like I said, it can be situational if this will help out your build or not, but it gives you a lot of different options if you do need that extra bit of stat and you don't know where else to get it. This can be a really nice option for stuff like that, and if you'd use it right, it can turn out pretty beneficial. So again, you get these from the crafting station. It's not going to help out every single build, but if you use it right and it looks like it could help you out, then it probably will, and you could get some nice benefit from using this, and it could buff up your build by just that much more. All right, guys, well, that is pretty much it. I just wanted to make this quick video to showcase to you all how the improvised holster can help you out given you're making an applicable build and how you can gain some extra stats off of it for your setup. I hope this helps some of you out. I know I was pretty pleased in rediscovering this to buff up my skill haste just a bit more and so I hope you guys can get some worth out of it too. Thanks again to Jose for prompting this video. If you guys watch until the end, thank you very much for doing so. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and be sure to subscribe with notifications on so you can be updated every time I upload. Comment any thoughts or questions about this down below. I hope you all have a great day, stay safe out there, and until the next one guys, Rogue Gold. Out.